Attention, Planet Nimon. This is Planet Doom speaking. King Zarkon demands that you speed up production of the mineral Nimonium. It is vital in the operation of His Majesty's superior war machine. All those who fail to meet their quotas will be severely punished. On the occasion of his glorious birthday tomorrow, King Zarkon will be paying a visit to your planet. Prepare a magnificent celebration. All must be perfect. This is the voice of Planet Doom. Over. Keep working, you animals! Double your quotas! The great King Zarkon arrives tomorrow to check on your progress! He had better be pleased! Oh. Please, no, I can't go on! On your feet! King Zarka needs that pneumonium now! No work, no food! Now get to work or I'll make sure you starve! You others want a taste of the whip? Ah, Prince Tabor! Good work, Captain. I'm pleased to see the way our slaves are producing pneumonium. And I'm especially pleased that the statue of my uncle, King Zarkon, will be ready for his birthday tomorrow. Thank you, sire. And I'm sure you'll be most pleased to inform your uncle, King Zarkon, that I am the one who is solely responsible for all this progress. They're bringing us to eat. Food! Food! <laughs> I've got to stop this giant. They treat us worse than slaves. Wait, Tal. Wait. Don't do anything foolish. I don't care. We need Voltron. Voltron's millions of miles away on planet Aris. I've got to get the Voltron force here to help us. That's just a nice dream, Jai. It's not a dream, Tal. I'll go and get him in a spaceship. See that big building down there? That's the launch dock. There's always a couple of spaceships on it ready to go. Tonight, when they're all getting ready for Zarkon's visit tomorrow, I'll sneak down there, grab one, and take off. You wenches, bring us food and nectar. Be quick about it. A toast to King Zarkon. May he one day rule the universe. has stolen one of our slave shuttles. Quick, man pursuit ships. He's getting away. We must intercept him immediately or King Zarkon will be furious. He made it. Bring Voltron back to save us, Jai. To planet Eris and Voltron. Voltron will be back after these messages. We now return to Voltron, Defender of the Universe. Oh no! A meteor shower! Uh-oh, more trouble! They're on my tail! Their lasers got me! I'm on fire!
team, it looks like we got some company. Whoever he is, he needs help. You let one of the slaves escape with Zarkon coming? I'm not taking the blame for this. Remember, it was just as much your responsibility. Maybe your uncle won't have to learn the truth. Well, what are we going to do? You've got to do something to save me. I think I know how to handle this. How? Tell me. I know that you are all waiting eagerly for news of your foolish comrade. Well, if you think he's bringing help, put it out of your minds. You'll never see him again. <gasps> Chai, what have I done? Oh no, I let him go. Your would-be hero has been shot out of the skies by our attack force. I conquered the people of Nemon and made them my slaves. I need the valuable minerals on that planet. Now a slave has escaped. If he reaches the Voltron Force, that mighty robot will come to their aid. And that fool nephew of mine, I knew I should never have put him in charge of planet Nemon. And you are not so wise either. Speak up, old witch. What's the magic answer? You need no magic, sire. Merely teach the people of Nemon a lesson. Lesson? You fly to Nemon today to celebrate your birthday. Celebrate it by ordering a hundred slaves tortured for the one who escaped. Excellent, Hagar. I'll do it. The journey we are about to embark upon to the distant planet of Nemon holds the key to the glorious future of this empire. And when you return with the fuel, Nemonium, you will have enough power to conquer the universe. Sire, your spaceship is ready. Good, let us begin. Nanny is tending to the boy. He's going to be all right. He sure made a bad landing. No kidding. It's a lucky thing for him he landed in the water. Do any of you have an idea where he comes from? He was wearing a turban and funny clothes. Hey, I think there's people like that on planet Nemoan, way out in this galaxy. It's mostly one big desert. Let's go in and see if the kid's well enough to talk. Wow, he's got more bandages than a mummy. The way he drove that spaceship, he's lucky to be alive. I wonder how he ever got a hold of a souped up super space battle wagon like that. A better question is, who is he, and what part of the galaxy does he come from, and why? We'll learn soon enough. But first, he needs nourishment. What's the matter? Aren't you hungry? I can't eat. Not while my people are starving. I came here to get help for a desperate planet. But first, you have to rest and build up your strength. Then we can talk. I have no time. Every minute we waste could mean a life. We've identified his spacecraft. Guess who it belongs to? Zarkon. Zarkon! The Zarkon? There's only one. No wonder his people are in trouble. If he needs our help, he's got it. Right, team? Right! The Space Monitor. That glowing red object in the farthest circle is the planet Nemon. That's a long way from here, isn't it? It's far, but worse than that, it's a dangerous trip, filled with magnetic fields, black holes, and meteors. And if we do go, Koran, we'll be leaving planet Eris undefended. Just the way Zarkon would like it, I'm afraid. Maybe it's all a trick. It's no trick. My people need help, really. Jai, you should be in bed. Princess, I beg you to help. Voltron is the only one that can save us.
first, I must have further discussions with Koran. My advisor. Discussions? You want to talk while the slave master's whip punishes my people? While they're starving and suffering? If you won't help us, nobody will. We have nowhere else to turn. Friends, I believe in my heart he tells the truth. Let's form Voltron! Now? Now! Voltron will be back after these messages. We now return to Voltron, Defender of the Universe. Attention all staff and slaves of planet Nemo. His Imperial Majesty, King Zarkon, is now arriving. Welcome him! Hello, Uncle. I mean, Your Majesty. As you can see, I've got everything under control here. Hmm. Ah! What's this? A tribute, a statue of me. That's good, Tabor, good. Yes, I've been doing excellent work, un uh, Your Majesty. For your birthday, I've made the slaves work triple time in the Pneumonium mines. Pneumonium will make my forces unbeatable. When you rule the entire universe, don't forget, I'm your nephew. What have we here? Oh, nothing important, sire. Just lazy slaves. They claim they're sick and injured. <laughs> no excuses. Work! Magnificent! Yes, and someday my statue will be worshipped on every planet in the universe! It pains me to learn, Tabor, that a slave escaped in one of our space shuttles. Don't worry, sire. A volley of laser fire destroyed him. You'd better hope so. Nothing but absolutely nothing must interfere with my master plan. Oh, nothing will. I swear it, almighty king of kings. Let's teach these slaves a lesson. Ready? I'm ready. Me too. We're set. Let's get them. Save your energy, Lance. You'll need it when we tangle with Zarkon. Let's hurry. Form Voltron. Ignite hyperpower. All units interlock. Activate mega thrusters. Meteors look like giant boulders. Try to look at it this way, Hunk. It's just another rock concert. Can we make it? Sure, Voltron will get through. There's no stopping us now.
That meteor got us head on. We're out of control. Hang in there, Princess. Quick, activate thermal blasters. We gotta melt those meteors. That's doing the trick, team. Have you prepared everything, Tabor? Yes, Uncle. The slaves await their punishment. Aren't people buried up to their necks in sand a delightful sight? You never disappoint me, Hagar. Spoken like a true witch. Because one of your people tried to escape, my robot warriors will practice their swordsmanship and teach you a lesson. Anyway, you tried, Jai. Let the fun begin! We're here. Prepare to attack Zarkon. Voltron will be back after these messages. We now return to Voltron, Defender of the Universe. It's Voltron! Voltron? Form Blazing Sword! <laughs> Voltron's here! The flame! Urak! This is your doing. You let a slave escape and look what he's brought down on us. Uncle, not me! We must escape to the ship! Tao, wait! Jai, is that your voice I hear? I did it, Tao, didn't I? You sure did, you sure did! Voltron's too close for comfort. Hagar, do something. I'll give him a taste of my special magic! Attack Voltron! Smash him! Cut him into a thousand pieces! Here come a couple of late birthday gifts from Hagar. and hit us in ours. Look out behind you! OK. 
Okay, team, let's go for it. People of Nemon are safe and free again. And whenever any world across the vastness of space is threatened with injustice or cruelty, good people everywhere can rest assured there is one who will always be ready to help. Voltron, defender of the universe.